is Hagrid, and in this video I will show you how to make some homemade cat toys that your cat will love just as much as the store-bought ones. I'll also show you how to make a scratching box for your cat so they can get out some of their destructive energy. Now, I recommend making these because most of the ones in the store are the exact same stuff that you have lying around for so much cheaper, and your cat is gonna love them just as much, and they're just gonna destroy them anyway, so you might as well DIY it. If you're already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that notification bell and next to the subscribe button so you get updates when I post new videos. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button and post a comment below. When you engage with my channel, it makes sure that other people see my videos on YouTube's search list. For this project, you'll need some cardboard. If you have two ply, that works even better than the regular kind. You'll need some white glue, a sponge brush, a utility knife, some rope, and a hot glue gun. For this project, you'll begin by cutting your strips of cardboard. I cut mine about four or five inches wide, then add a thick layer of white glue and spread it around with your sponge brush. Make sure you coat it evenly and then press another layer of the cardboard into place on top of that one. You'll want to repeat this until your piece is as wide as you need it to have a nice, large scratching surface for your cat. If you don't have two-ply cardboard, you'll have to repeat this step several more times, but I believe this process only took me about five minutes for the pieces that I did have. Then put something heavy on top of them and leave it to dry. Once it's dry, use some hot glue to attach your rope along the edges if you want. You can also add some catnip so that your cat is attracted to it and knows that it belongs to him. This will also encourage your cat to scratch and introduce him to this new scratching surface. You'll want to make sure that you repeat this step along both ends so that the scratching structure will lay evenly on the ground. And next, for the toys, you'll need some wine corks. I found champagne corks work best. You'll need hot glue and either cording, twine or rope, and any other small things like feathers that your cat might enjoy. For this first one, I put a small bell onto a piece of twine and then hot glued that onto one end of the wine cork. Then I secured all the rest of the twine around the cork so that it's securely held in place. Then I began wrapping the entire wine cork with the rest of the twine and I started by spiraling out from the top underneath the bell and then just adding a little bit of hot glue at a time as I went to make sure that the twine was securely in place. Then I just spiraled it out and down around the entire cork. If you want, you can sprinkle a little bit of catnip in between, securing it with your hot glue. That way your cat will have some extra stimulation and will be excited by the catnip. And that's all there is to that one. It is very straightforward and simple and your cat will love the catnip and the bell on it. For the next one, I simply hot glued a bunch of feathers onto one end of a cork. I like to put a big dollop of hot glue and then add the feathers in so they know that they'll stay securely in place. Then I spiraled some pretty gold cording down and around the cork. I decided once I got to the bottom of the bulb end of the cork that I wanted this piece to be round, so I just used my utility knife to cut off the bottom nub and that made it into a sphere. Then I continued wrapping my cord a little bit at a time with hot glue, and when I got to the other end of the sphere, I added another big dollop of hot glue and finished it off with some feathers. A tip for these toys, if you make them perfectly symmetrical, they won't move around as much, so I like to make them a little bit funny shaped so they're more fun. For this last one, I put a ring of hot glue around the small end of a cork, and then I spiraled a bunch of feathers through that hot glue, making sure that they had a nice wide surface on the cork, and then I capped them off with more hot glue on the ends. Then I began spiraling that same pretty cording down and around the feathers and finished off the entire cork in a spiral. Then I added another nice big dollop of hot glue on the bottom and spiraled that off to a finish. This one ended up looking a little bit like a pineapple and then I capped the bottom with another nice big dollop of hot glue so that it wouldn't unravel. And that's all there is to it. Eventually Hagrid figured out that this thing was for scratching, but he warmed up to the toys instantly and knew that they were for him and has been playing with them nonstop ever since. 
He eventually did chew on the scratching thing a little bit, but I think he got that out of his system right away. <laughs> for the most part, he really enjoys these toys, and I had a lot of fun making them. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more DIYs like this one, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. If you like this video, hit that like button and be sure to post a comment below telling me what you think.